What's up, Wayne Baron here with Artifacts.net, and we are inside of Microsoft Visual Studio 2010 for our lesson one of working with VB.net, ASP.net. And so, what we're going to be doing here is that our first project is we're going to go to File, New Website, and we are in Visual Basic, and we're going to choose to design an ASP.net empty website. And our folder is going to be saved, our file is going to be saved within the GVS Lessons New Website 4. I'm going to click on OK. And as you can see, it gives us a blank field. The only thing that is available is our web.config file, and of which we are not going to be using in this lesson. Let's come up here to File, click on New File, and we're going to choose Web Form. Double click on it, and you open up this form field right here. Uh, we've got three ways of viewing our our form. We can either design view, split view, which puts our code up top and our design down bottom, or our complete source, which gets rid of our design view. I like to leave mine within the split, and so that's what we're going to leave it in. And so what we're going to do here is that we're going to add in three elements. Come over here to our toolbox. Let's choose a button and a label and so with our button and our label selected or chosen let's go ahead and change this around here and add in a break and then we're going to add in input type equals <coughs> text excuse me name equals my field and then we're going to close it and we're going to add in another break excuse me <clears throat> and then this is what it is going to look like um, insert your text here and there we go so if we run this right now it's not going to do anything because there's no code code added to the back end the back end is our default.asp.vb which right up top if you remove this from your project then you get rid of the ability to work in what's called the back end and so let's go ahead and save this all right come over here to our button and let's double click on our button. This right here is our back end code. And so what we want to do is that we want to create a string that we can work with. So dim my string as string equals request dot form my field. Okay. What this is going to do is that the dim my string is string is going to create this variable right here, which is called my string. Now, this my string's property is request.form my field. The my field is coming from right here. This is our field, our my field. So then we come over here and we do a response dot write and then type in my string. Click out of it. And this right here is going to take the information that we send to my string and then it is going to write it out right here. So when we save this, come back to here, click on debug, and either press on start debugging or your F5 key. And then whenever it runs, it gives you this page right here. So let's say hello YouTube. Click on the button and it says hello YouTube. And that is a response that right that is being sent from the back end to the client page. And so that is the end of lesson one. And we will see you soon with lesson number two inside of Microsoft Visual Studio 2010. VB.net. Take care.